Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of PGA Tour 2K23, the Grayson Classic at Thieves Landing, round four. We had a good round three and let's see if we can carry that momentum into the final round and break even par and get a good finish. Let's go golfing. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to today's event. Today's coverage of the Grayson Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam, and it's the final round here, Rich. What's our next player up against as they begin it? In the top 10, going into this final round, and there's a good opportunity to get out there early, post some opening birdies, and really let the leaders know that you're coming for them. Well, there's so much excitement and anticipation in the air. I can't wait to see how it plays out. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Yep, that'll work, that's fine. Time for the second shot into the first. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Bit too heavy handed there. Big putt for par coming up. Ooh. And this one will be for bogey. Currently at four over for the tournament. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Second shot on the second. <laughs> Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Always nice to have a birdie putt. This is on a stupendous line. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is what they have left for a par. He's currently tied for eighth. Teeing off here at the third hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Going and going and going.
Oh, that was pure. And here we are with the third shot. A birdie putter waits. A good stroke. It was on a good line. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the six iron here. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. This would be a great up and down. Yes! And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. <laughs> Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Oh, some smiles here. A bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. Yep, yeah, this is lovely. That was a bit of a miscue. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. This one to save par. Okay, steady now. That one goes down for bogey. Time to tee off at the sixth. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. It might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Quality shot, that one. Putting for Eagle here. Oh, that's frustrating. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Seeing off here at the seventh. That's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week. Sitting at three over. In a share of seventh. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Well, that's a handy shot. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. It's tracking. Oh, just missed. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. He's currently sitting in seventh place. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. This would be a great up and down. A par part awaits. 
That's on a good line. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Now, great rhythm on that swing. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up from about 130 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. Wow, that's misjudged. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Looking really good, this one. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. This hole here is a par four. Mm, that was a bit wayward. And he's down there. You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. Opting for the six iron. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Well, what happened there? Is that what they had in mind? Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Sitting at three over par. Currently seventh place. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. He's in a share of seventh place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Opting for the hybrid, I think. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Currently at plus three for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Untidy, wasn't it? Playing now from the fairway bunker. Well, out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. And this putt to move into the top five. Oh, get in! Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Currently at two over par. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Choosing the nine iron here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. An opportunity to make a par here. That will work. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them.
This one might roll into the rough. Sitting at a couple of shots over par. Currently tied for fifth place. Yeah, that one will play. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. And with only four holes to go in this event, Luke, this is a good opportunity, big moment for this player. Oh, so close. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Sitting at two over par. Tied for fifth. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And here we are with their fourth. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. Ouch, that hurts. We don't want to drop any more shots. Let's make this for double. Steady on. Just three feet to the cup. He finds himself in a share of eighth. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Not bad. An opportunity for a birdie here. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for bogey here. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. Good shot there, Beamer. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. A bit too much pace on that one. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Ooh. This one for bogey. And that putt is hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Time for the second shot on the 18th. All right, bold. I like this play. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And this putt is for a final score of 73. Oh, he's up, Tiger. Ooh, good look at Birdie here. And that'll bring his tournament to a close. Top 10, Rich, not to be sneezed at. No, top 10s are always good. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament.
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, that's not exactly the result we were looking for. It's kind of opposite of the result we were looking for. Uh, we still, however, maintained a top 10 finish, tied for ninth. Can't ask for anything better than that, I suppose. We weren't going to be able to challenge for first place, but had we made a few better shots than we had, we could have easily been in the top three, even, you know, finished second place. But that's all behind us now. We're on to the next tournament. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.